Hey y'all. It is Damon here from Deco Exchange. Hey, hey. Y'all, we are gonna use one of the attachments that were made this weekend to make a fun little wreath. I'm also gonna use the scraps from Jordan's bow box that he made. Y'all, I found a wreath frame in my stash. All right, let's get some 21 inch mesh on here. Y'all, we're gonna use Coach Jordan's method. All right, so we're gonna add some 21 inch mesh around the top. All right, let's do some 10 inch poofs. All right, now we're gonna add some ruffles. Y'all, I found three colors that I wanted to use. All right, we're gonna need uh, 10 of these at 30 inches. All right, we're gonna curl our edge just a little bit and then scrunch it down the middle. So we're just adding our ruffles around the bottom. So we're just curling those edges. And y'all, I wasn't paying attention and I cut more than I needed of the 18. So we're just gonna have 30 inch ruffles around the top too. All right, so now we're gonna add a ruffle around the top. So we're just adding our ruffles all the way around. All right, so we got our base all done. Look how pretty that is. Y'all, we're gonna add our little seahorse to it. So unfortunately, these pipe cleaners are not gonna be long enough with how thick I made that. So I'm gonna cut these in half. All right, and then I'm just gonna connect them. All right, so there's all our pipe cleaners. So I'm gonna attach this guy over here. All right, gonna pull those pipe cleaners down into the mesh and wrap it to the frame. So let's make our Bow next. Y'all, this is double sided. Look how pretty the back is. So we're doing a seven inch loop, seven inch loop, eight inch tail, eight inch tail.
All right. So our loops are just going to get a little bit smaller, but our tails are going to stay about the same. All right, I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, fold it in half, slide my bow out of here, squeeze it nice and tight. All right, so there is one bow. Gonna get this added right here. So y'all, I think on this one, I'm gonna do one large bow, one smaller bow, and then just ribbon tails. All right, so I'm just wrapping that pipe cleaner down around the frame. Look how pretty that is together. All right, so let's make ourselves a smaller bow. So by smaller bow, I'm just gonna do one loop and two tails of each ribbon. All right, so one tail, one loop, other tail, all right, so now we're going to do tails on the other side, loop on this side, another tail. So this way the bow will be about half the size. There's our smaller bow. Y'all, and by smaller, it's the same width 
Um, it's just not as dense because we have less loops. All right, pull this one in. All right, let's get ourselves some ribbon tails added. Y'all, you know what? I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna use uh, Jordan's 13 inch ribbon tails and just see if I like it. So we're going to add one set of tails all the way around the bottom. I'm going to start with my four inch with my green on top, fold it in half. Darcy, you have to make the seahorse yourself. It's part of the coaching group. Give it a good pinch. Fold it in half so wire sides are touching and then just add one of these in to the twist around the bottom. And then we're going to spread it out right there like that. All right, going to layer these, fold it in half, give it a pinch and add it to the next twist. So we're just adding these tails right around. All right, so there's all our tails around the bottom. Now we're gonna add some tails around the top where we need them. All right, so see how there was this gap between this bow and this bow? I just wanted one tail to kind of close that gap. All right, let's trim our ribbon tails. All right, so right here, I wanna make sure those tails are short enough so we can see the um, seahorse's nose. All right, now I've got one set of tails left over here. She's done, y'all. Look how cute. 